Chapter 2 The Beautiful Princess One day the king talked to the people. Everyone should stay home. Keep your doors and windows closed. My daughter will travel to and from the bathhouse, ordered the king. Aladdin was very curious. He wanted to see the princess's face. Aladdin hid behind the door of the bathhouse. He saw the princess as she entered the bathhouse. She was so beautiful, and he immediately fell in love with her. He went home and told his mother. I'm so in love with the princess, he said. Please, mother, go to the king and tell him I want to marry the princess, begged Aladdin. The genie of the lamp gave them jewels. Aladdin's mother packed the jewels in a napkin. She went to the palace. The king and his chief advisor were in a big hall. She entered and stood at the door. I see a woman standing in front of the door, said the king. Call her so I can find out what she wants. Aladdin's mother bowed to the king. Stand up, good woman. What do you want from me? asked the king. My son Aladdin is in love with the princess, she said. He said he would die if he couldn't marry the princess. What do you have in the napkin? asked the king. These are jewels for the king, she said as she opened the napkin. The king was surprised. The jewels were very valuable. He turned to his chief advisor. What do you think? Isn't this enough money to allow the princess and Aladdin to marry? The chief advisor wanted his son to marry the princess. Please, wait three months before you agree to this marriage, he begged. He hoped his son could prepare a bigger present to give to the king. The king agreed. The chief advisor had to hide his plan from Aladdin's mother. He said to her, Your son can marry the princess, so please come again in three months. Aladdin waited patiently for two months. Then one day his mother went to the city to buy food. There was a big party. What is everyone celebrating? She asked. You don't know, was the answer. The chief advisor's son will marry the princess tonight. She ran and told Aladdin. He was really upset at first. Then he thought about the lamp. He rubbed it and the genie appeared. What would you like? said the genie. I want you to bring the bride and the bridegroom to me tonight, replied Aladdin. As you wish, said the genie. Aladdin then went to his room. In it were the princess and her new husband. Take this man, said Aladdin to the genie, and put him outside in the cold. You can return him in the morning. The genie took the chief advisor's son. Aladdin was alone with the princess. Don't be afraid, Aladdin said to her. You are my wife. Your father promised me. I will not hurt you. The next morning the princess told her father everything. The king talked to the chief advisor's son. It's true, the son said. I love the princess, but I would rather die than have another night like that. I want to leave her. The king granted his wish. After the three months were over, Aladdin's mother went to the palace. The king said, Good woman, tell your son that he is welcome to marry my daughter. She immediately went home and told Aladdin. Hurry! The king is waiting for you. Aladdin called the genie. 
Build me the finest palace. The palace was finished the next day. Aladdin and the princess got married. After the wedding, Aladdin took her to his palace. Aladdin became the captain of the king's army. He won several battles for the king. He lived in peace and happiness for many years.